Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, I took a little hiatus here, but we're back on Stranded Deep, also known as Tom Hanks Simulator. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to get right into it. Uh, I'm loading into the game right now. Uh, I'm just going to make a new world and stuff. I did do, like, a small partial playthrough, as you can see, I'm on day 30 there. Which, if I knew what I was doing, I probably could could have completed it within that 30 days, but I went through and explored a lot and had to learn uh, a whole lot about the game. Uh, so, yeah, you can see all my settings here. Set the world to random. Um, and everything else looks good. But, yeah, so I did a little tiny playthrough on this, so I know the basics, pretty much. And... Um, I have looked into like the bosses and stuff like that, so I kind of know what I need. Uh, like, I need like a bunch of refined spears or spear gun arrows or whatever. So yeah, I've kind of got a little plan out and I kind of know what I'm doing, um, at least a little bit. And yeah, I definitely know more than I did the first time because the first time I literally, uh, like, I thought the only way to get the fibrous leaves or whatever was through the yucca plant. But apparently you can get them through the young palms on the ground, and I figured that out later. Because I realized that it looked like those young palms, like, weren't growing at all. So it's like, hmm, I wonder if I can, like, mine these or something, and I did. But also, the one thing that bothers me about this first scene is it's kind of disappointing that you can't see anything other one. Which, I mean, granted, you're flying over water at night, but still. I think it'd be kind of nice to see, I don't know, like the moon glare off of the water or something. I don't know. But, um, I guess the first time I didn't check if you can pick any of that stuff up. Or if there's anything even in here to be picked up, really. Doesn't really look like there is. Um. Hmm. Alright, we're just gonna go out here. No. Okay, so I guess I just need to go then. And... Alright, so now we're getting sent off to the island, the old island that I was on, um, there's like a small, um, little island, uh, with two shipwrecks, it was like one on each side of it, kinda, one was like almost fully underwater, and one was, uh, well I guess both of them were pretty much fully underwater, um, but I don't know, yeah, see this isn't the same one. Because, like, over to my right here, there is a shipwreck. And then over there where that one is, there was a shipwreck on the on the original spawn island of mine. Um, yeah, so we're going to get this on the thing. On the island. Hitting something. Okay. I think I'm just going to have to drag it anyway. One thing that I don't like is you can't just, like, press a button to just, like, stop. You have to, like, actually look at the raft and then stop rowing. You can't just, like, press a button to, like... On, uh, I don't know, to like stop doing it or whatever. Alright, so this is kind of a nice island. Uh, I also will be kind of like achievement hunting almost in this, uh, in my little like 30 day playthrough uh, that I did just kind of by myself. I got a lot of achievements, uh, just things that you would get like along the way or whatever. But, uh,. Yeah, I, there were some that I didn't get. Like, there's one that's like catch a fish. There's one that's catch ten fish. Um, let's see. There's some that are what's it, beat the bosses and stuff like that. I think. Uh, so I still got a couple achievements to get. Uh, some of them easier than others, obviously. Um, but yeah. So I've kind of gone around the island and. I just picked up a lot of the stuff that I found along the way. Uh, I found like two those two planks, I think. And I found two of the corrugated scrap, the two cloth, I think. Two cloth, yeah. And um, just some stones and stuff. Just pick it up so it's all in one place. And then we're just gonna loot this because I don't think that it's gonna be um, real difficult to loot. Um, on the other one that I was on, the shipwreck was a little bit farther from the island. So it was a little bit trickier to loot it because it was it was also deeper too. Oh yeah, and these buoy balls. They're kind of the reason that I didn't uh, complete the fishing achievement on, the, on my other one. Uh, and it's because I literally like uh, used all the buoy balls. Because there were like two sets of them and I used like all of them to make 
the uh, raft base or whatever. So yeah, that was great because after I used them all, I didn't realize I needed them for achievement. I would have had to go to another island and find more buoy balls, um, so I could actually make a bobber. Because I had the fishing pole made, but I couldn't use it without the bobber, which I didn't know. Okay, why can't I like go up this? Let's see. Okay. So I'm still good on my stats and everything, but I don't... Yeah, I'm pressing the right button. I'm pressing A. But it's just not letting me on for some reason. Oh, I think I'm crouched. There we go. Okay, that works. Maybe it's because I was crouched. I don't know. The Some of the keybinds and stuff on these games are weird. But... So we're going to go through, just grab some of the stuff. I'll come back for the bully balls when I actually have something to, you know, cut them up and take them back to the island or whatever, and then I can use one of them for the bobber, and then maybe I can use the rest for a raft base still, even though I think you need five for the raft base, but I don't know. We'll just see. It's not really important now. I'll come back and get those later. But looking around this place is kind of nice. This island's smaller than my other one that I was on, I think by at least a noticeable amount, I think. Yeah. And it also looks like it has less palm trees. Which, um, might be a little concerning. But, yeah. Because at some point I'm going to need to build a raft anyway. And then I'll just go around and explore items pretty much. But this will be like my main base island. And then I'll also have to look at the cartographer thing in the main menu to see where the bosses are in the escape places. And, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to drop all this stuff here. I just like doing that because it uh, makes all my stuff in one place and I don't have to go searching around, like, literally everywhere for it. And, uh, yeah. So now I have a knife. There we go, and then I'll have to get a hatchet at some point, and then I'll have to get refined stuff at some point, and yeah. Shouldn't be too hard to get refined stuff, honestly. I'll just have to, um, kill a, something that has leather or something. Alright, so I want to make a water still. And I can only make, like, basic stuff for now. Um, and I'm not a high enough level to make the water still, which I think is dumb, but, um, I guess I haven't crafted that much either, so, let's see, yeah, oh, I just picked up the wrong thing, yeah, so you see what I'm talking about there, you can get the fibrous stuff from these, uh, little young palm trees or whatever. Yeah, I didn't know that before. And of course the yucca things regrow, but only like after like two or three days or something. And these, it seems like they regrow faster than that, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, so like I could just cut these in for it, but I'd, I'll cut down these young ones first, just to show, I guess. Alright, so I got four. Then I can make the lasher. Now I need some sticks. I'm just going to cut down one of these little trees because it takes less hits than the big ones with this knife. Where did this other stick go? I could have sworn there was a fourth stick and I already had one, I think. Oh, oh it's right there. I thought, I thought that was like the trunk of like another small tree. God dang it. I was going to say, I could have sworn that I saw another one fall over there, but I just thought that that was the stump, or like the trunk of the tree or whatever. So, yeah. Got my little little shelter there. And now I'll have to build uh, a water still, and I'll have to get upgraded for that. Um, let's see. I could probably make a stone tool, and that'll get me... Yeah, see, I'm, I'm super close. I bet if I make a stone tool, I'll probably get up there. 
Or I'll at least get closer, I suppose. I can always make multiple. Yeah, see, level up craftsmanship. Let's go. Alright, so I can make the water still now. Oh, and there's also the crude axe that I can make at some point. So, oh, let's make it now. Alright. So, I can make the water still now, but I'm going to make the uh, crude hatchet first, I think. Just so it makes it easier to cut down trees and stuff, and I don't have to spend ages hacking down a tree with my knife. Uh, because that just takes forever with the palm trees. Um... Yeah, see. Yeah, the the other island that I had uh, on my 30 day one was so much better than this one, I think. This one's smaller and it has less of those little pine tree, or not pine tree, geez, palm tree things. Uh, so there was a lot more like fibrous stuff. And it also had the three yucca plants, so the yucca plants are about the same, so. Yeah, I don't know. But I got my crude hatchet now, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. It's all the same doesn't uh, really bother me too much I suppose uh, with the uh, palm tree things I can always just you know traverse to other islands and stuff and once I get my um, raft up and going I can put a little storage thing on it and yeah see that's a fishing rod and bobber thing uh, but yeah once I get the raft going I'll have to get some storage on it and just go around and collect I suppose so alright so I got the buoy balls now uh, I went and collected them off the thing so now I can make uh, a bobber at least um, and then I can also make the fish pole fishing pole is not that hard um, oh I can't make the water still oh I guess I have to be level 2 for that okay I guess I already assumed I was level 1 but I wasn't really paying attention I guess Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to have to build some more stuff then. Alright, so there's the bobber, and then I need to make a fishing pole, or fishing rod. And once I make that, and then I can catch a fish, because I haven't fished in this game, so I don't know really how it works. So once I do that, I can catch a fish, and that'll get me an achievement uh, for catching like my first fish or something on the game. So, yeah. These also have yucca fruit on them. They have one per plant or whatever. And then I can just replant that into uh, more yucca plants. Or yucca trees. So then I'll have uh, six yucca trees, I think. Um, provided that I keep them alive, but... The, oh, the good thing about the water still, too, is you don't have to just use palm fronds. Because uh, in the first one, I was just like, oh, man, there's a palm frond in the bottom. So I can just replace that palm frond or whatever. And I thought that you could only use palm fronds, but you can actually just use any like type of fibrous thing, which I think, which includes uh, the fibrous leaves or whatever. Uh, but I don't know if it includes anything else. I think it's just palm fronds and fibrous leaves, but... I'll sleep and save real quick. Um, yeah. Alright. So there we go. And then I'll save now. Uh, just that way. In any case, if I die, I can just come back to where I last saved or whatever. Oh, there's a piece of cloth right here. I guess I must have missed that when I was uh, picking up all the other stuff. Alright, so I'm going to try out fishing real quick and we'll just see how it goes. Okay, I think I see what I need to do. I can reel, actually. Like, I can, like, bait them. Okay, no sooner than I actually got one hooked after waiting here for, like, three minutes. I just broke it off. Okay. Well, I was sitting here the longest time. And I was wondering if I'd ever get a bite because I was sitting there for so long. 
But apparently I have to like reel in a little bit for them to I don't understand what's... Oh, I got another one. There we go. I, just, I don't understand why it's, like, so hard. I mean, I, I don't know. I could just be doing something wrong. I, that, that It could just be operator error. Um, but I have, like, been here for so long trying to catch something. And I, there is just, like, nothing was biting. So uh, this, uh, this area is kind of over by the shipwreck that's on my island or whatever. Yeah, uh, just I just came over here because it's deeper water, um, like quicker I can stand in the shallow and it's like really deep all of a sudden, so I thought maybe I'd have better chances, um, but it still took a few attempts, and so there we go, I don't know, if, I don't think you guys can probably see that, but I just got the achievement for it, uh, for catching like my first fish or whatever. So now I literally just dropped that because I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. There's literally a sardine right there that I could spear. And I don't know. Like, the sardines aren't hard to get. And plus, I don't really need it. I could literally kill one of these crabs up here. Or go down and kill, like, a grouper or something. Those giant ones. That's what I did in my other one. I just killed groupers a lot. So now I'm just going to put this thing away. Because I literally don't need this thing anymore. I, I suppose I could probably um, use it. Because I think there's another achievement that's like catch 10 fish or something. But, yeah. I don't really need it anymore, so I'm just going to put it away. Because uh, I don't really care. So Okay, I'm getting low on water, so now I need to make the water still. But I should be high enough level, right? At this point, I hope. Yes, I am. Okay, let's go. Alright, so I need three stone, a lashing, and the coconut flask thing. Okay, so I'm going to go grab a coconut there. Coconuts grow on all these palm trees, but I think they only grow one per palm tree, and I don't think they grow back ever. I, know, I don't remember if I ever saw them grow back, so I don't know. But. Alright, here's my lashing. Okay, so I have most of the stuff I need, but I think I need a little bit more fiber sleeves. Just a little bit. I also want to make the uh, meat smoker too, because if I leave, it, it can cook multiple pieces of meat at the same time. So it works pretty much just like the hobo stove thing, which I thought was really good in the other one, because it you could just put as much meat on it as you wanted, pretty much as long as it was like over the main fire or whatever um, but then I found out that the meat in this game actually like doesn't last very long and then I found out that the meat smoker if you just cook all your meat on it and just leave it on there for a little bit longer you can smoke it and smoked meat will never go bad so yeah that's definitely something I'm going to utilize in this because I definitely went through a ton of like meat that I didn't have to that I could have just like smoked or whatever and then like kept because there were like so many of those like large meat pieces or whatever that you get from boars or whatever that I had and like the medium ones from like the little hogs or whatever that I would get and then I just like would cook it and then they'd like all go bad so but I have my water still now so that's good so I can actually like you know survive and drink water see look it has one prom pom prom under there and then I can put more into there if I want. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so what do I need to make the meat smoker? I need a fire pit and a lashing. I've had about enough of this lashing stuff. <laughs> On my other island, I thought I was having trouble at the very beginning. But as soon as I figured out that you could use the young palm deals. Oh, I have two campfires now. Okay, but as soon as I figured you could use two of those palm deals... Or not to what? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But as soon as I figured out you could use the little young palms, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, it was like so much easier because there were so many of those on the other island. But there's like 
I don't know. I swear there's like none on this one. But I'm also probably missing some of them. Oh, don't want to knock that down. And it's also kind of disappointing that I don't think the trees grow back. Which kind of sucks because then you have to like go to other islands to get wood and stuff. Which on my other one really wasn't a problem either because I had a raft that had like four of the uh, like the storage shelves on it or whatever. So I had, what what would that be, like 12 of those wooden storage containers like on the raft or whatever. And I would just empty it all out on the home island or whatever and then just go to another island and then just like just collect a bunch of wood. Alright, so can I place? Oh, I still need a little action. Okay. Um... Yeah, so I'm just going to go around looking for this lashing. I'm sure that it's around here, but I don't know. Some of the things like to grow inside of each other, like there's palm trees that grow in these giant bushes. There's freaking the young palms grow in there too. Like this one, look, he's literally, that crab just disappeared, but okay. Okay, so I'm back now and I've finally got all the lashing. It took like so long to get. Um, I guess not so long, but... Uh, it probably took me a good five minutes trying to find it. Um, just for the fact that they like to grow inside of those giant bushes and stuff, and you can't break the giant bushes. Unless you can, there's just, I'm just an idiot, but, you know, th there's always that. That's always po very, very possible. And, uh, I'm sorry if the audio is a little bit messed up on this. Um, because obviously, you know, I record the audio on my phone or whatever. And,. I don't have any idea where my little like adapter deal for my headset to connect to my phone is. So if you're hearing a little bit of like ambient stuff that's going on in my house, which isn't much, um, yeah, just that's why. Or if my voice sounds a little bit different uh, for any reason, or if you can like hear me breathing obscenely, and it's just like <gasps> like the whole time I'm recording. Um, but yeah, so. Also, can we talk about the fact that that other crab just, like, straight up disappeared? I was, I was kind of busy on a tangent there, and I didn't want to, you know, go off topic on it, but, um, while I was doing that, that crab just, like, straight up disappeared. Yeah, so. But, so now I can smoke this meat, I can put it on there, it'll cook up pretty decently fast. Uh, I'll have to get some palm fronds on my, um, little deal there. My water's still there so I can get some more water. And, uh, if you're wondering, like, how to get your SPF up, go to one of, the, like, the main trees on your island. Because I don't think the little ones do it. You have to be by one of the main ones. Um, let's see. Okay, well, that one's not working. I might just, I might just be not staying in the same spot. Because you have to stand, like, in, like, the right spot on a tree. Yeah, see, like, there's none now. Which is weird, because it goes like directly from none to high there's no like medium or low or whatever it just goes straight from none to high which i think is odd like i think you should have like low sun like exposure when you're under the little ones but maybe more when you're under the i don't know but so i hope you guys enjoyed this tom hanks simulator and join me for more on the next episode when we kill the shark